Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the official ARC podcast number 70. My name's Brad, and I'm here with the core team. Your host tonight, as always, our dedicated leader, Atlas. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Brad, for the introduction. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming tonight to our 70th podcast. Got a pretty exciting day today. I mean, a lot of work happening here in the back end. Arc is printing, growing. It's looking quite amazing, guys. Price is holding steady, right in its range, $5.69. The intelligent liquidity controller reserves are at 503,557 BUSD. And tonight, we have an all time high again of 156.98 ARC. That's a street value, as they say, of 800. $93.22. That's fantastic, guys. Total vault accounts continue to grow. 2,397 accounts. We couldn't be happier. We are understanding that folks are hearing about ARC. They're taking the time to read the white paper, do their due diligence. Come here to the podcast or to the VC, ask questions very important that everyone understands what's different, what's special, and really how to manage your investment. NDV, CWR, it's all different. This is not your grandmother's LMS, or your grandmother's pumpkin pie and NDV. It's different. And with that, we're seeing great success. The guys, we're just getting started. We're about, uh, we're right on the what, three weeks. I'll have to verify exactly the date. It was December 18th that we launched. We've got some more updates uh, that I'm going to be giving you. But I think folks want to really get that spark price released. But before we go ahead and do that, let's bring Mr. Brett Norton. On stage, and sir, give us the great news. What's been happening? What are the updates <laughs> coming here at ARC, sir? How are you doing? Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir, absolutely. Great. Yeah, so you can say we had a, a busy day in the back office today, just uh, going through our upcoming plans for the web app. And that is coming along very nicely. And we're talking about, you know, simplification and streamlining things and, um, you know, how do we make some of these parameters that we've set, you know, a little easier to understand for everyone. And as we move into a web app, more mass market, um, you know, can we tailor them in a different way? So there's going to be more to come on that. Um, just want to give you an update that the, uh, the web app is cruising along um, some great talent that we have on board to handle that. And we've seen some of the previews and things and it's, it's very impressive. So that's probably a pretty exciting thing that's coming down the road. Just want to remind everybody that that's um, well underway and uh, should be well anticipated for everybody. Uh, Cause I think that'll really help um, people that are having conversations out in the real world um, to bring the arc to more people. Um, also, I think we touched on it a little bit preview, but uh, the foundation is now sitting over 115,000 which is impressive. We started out um, with the pre-sale. I think we were just over 30,000 in the foundation in USD value. Now we're at 115,127, which is amazing. Uh, that's all organic growth. People understanding, you know, the spark rewards uh, has been a big influence on that and, and catalysts work to bring that to light. Um, also the, um, the legacy NFTs we've now pushed over to 204, uh, Catalyst, did, did we add a couple more in the last 24 hours, or is that just me thinking that? Maybe he can comment no, on that. It's the, same. it's the same as it was uh, 24 hours ago. Oh, okay. We had been, right. yeah, we had been adding them about at a rate of two a day. 
But okay, it doesn't nice. look like they've increased. Yeah. It looks like our rewards distribution for those is ready to go out in another 20 or so minutes. So keep keep an eye on that, which is which is great. And then, uh, yeah, Atlas mentioned that uh, we've got another record spark drawing. So that's great to see uh, those those rewards are accumulating. And as we grow, that spark prize pool will grow as well as more people compound in the system and their vault balances grow higher. Those compound rewards will also increase, you know, uh, along with that. So there's a linear relationship there. Um, that's about it, Atlas. Did you have anything else that you want me to cover? Oh, you know what? I, I did want to mention again the iHeart Spark um, contest is is ongoing, and if uh, you just look in the uh, the list here of people in the VC, you'll see people with the iHeart Arc in their uh, their handle name. And that will qualify them for a total prize pool of 1,000 BUSD that we'll uh, have a drawing for here in a couple of weeks. And uh, each winner, we'll have five winners, will win 200 BUSD. So that's pretty exciting. Um, that's just an easy contest, total passive income again. So I just want to get everybody heads up on that. And uh, also I should, should announce we have a new segment tonight with uh, Coach Brad as the moderator for our, um, we're calling it the All Aboard segment, and that will be a All discussion <laughs> and review of uh, content that uh, community members are pushing out on Medium, YouTube, uh, Twitter, wherever it might be that you're talking about ARC and trying to get referrals. We will showcase um, at least one, uh, but I think multiple uh, people that uh, have have created that content and then we'll all be able to go through that live here on the podcast and uh, like and subscribe and try to boost it up as much as we can clap it follow them um, and support their you know their efforts to uh, market their opportunity here at arc and uh, obviously uh, include the referral link and get more referral rewards so that's going to be a new segment that we're doing with coach brad and I believe we're starting that tonight. So that'll be something that we look forward to uh, probably around the time that uh, Z jumps on and give us a, a DeFi update as well. So that's about it from my end, Atlas. Do you have anything else? I just wanted to mention something there to do with tonight, Brett. Um, okay. We have an exciting um, addition tonight. We, we were originally just going to be going over uh, a Medium article that I wrote. But uh, Tarmo F has actually been um, creating some web analysis tools for Arc, and he's going to display them this evening. They are in the early development stages, but um, I wanted to, you know, give him the spotlight and give him the opportunity to show what he's done for the community. All right, Tarmo coming back. Um, I don't know, Kelly, if you knew, but uh, Tarmo took, I think, your calculator and he created a graph in Excel. Uh, to show some redeposit schedule strategies that were pretty cool. So that's great to see Tarmo back. Yeah, I just saw his, his message to me last night. Um, haven't had a chance to look at it or get back to you. Sorry about that, Tarmo, but I will soon. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. All right, Atlas. So uh, whenever you're ready to, to do the... Uh, it sound it sound I think that the sound reminds me of the price is right wheel or something like that. And then spin the price is right wheel. I don't know if they have yeah. that in Europe or the rest of the world, but in, in the United States it sounds like the price is right wheel. <laughs> We'd have to research it, probably is. But uh yeah, I'm ready on my end. Uh so uh yeah, let's let's make it happen. Just give me a second here as we uh Get our second hardware wallet to go ahead and execute the transaction. Uh -oh, a second. It went to sleep. A little bit long, but that's fine. All right, here we go.
Just give it a second. It's going to update now. That's the street value 893.22. Sure, it went through to be uh, too slow on the front end, which has never happened actually. All right, let's refresh the page and see. One second. We do have that update on the uh, code. Okay, there we are. Didn't refresh exactly, but our winner for this night, the wallet is ending in C89A. Congratulations. <laughs> turn blue it did it yesterday we'll, uh, we'll ask Alex what happened with that and it was it's the first time it actually didn't do it instantly out of every single time we've done it so it might be something with that uh, the, the blue but as we know here's where it gets real real quiet as everyone's searching for wallets seeing if it's down for that one checking your Downline. And uh, becoming a trend to have the winner be here live with us each evening. There seems to be something in and the lucky stars when it comes to participating in the podcast and winning the Spark Rewards. But uh, yeah, that's a trend that we're starting to see develop. Does it mean that whoever won tonight is actually here with us? So if anybody recognizes that wallet, looking at your syndicate viewer, let that person know that's what happened yesterday. Farmer John was the winner last night and was pulled in here to the podcast live and direct by his buddy who realized that he was the Spark winner. The banner should be going out, going out any minute now. And we ask that you guys send that out to your groups of investors because maybe one of them is the winner they'll be notified to that matter. It's also good marketing as people see that every single day we give out this fantastic Spark Rewards. It just keeps growing exponentially. You make sure to check them wallets, Chris. <laughs> I did already. You didn't see me popping on. <laughs> uh, you guys got your side deal. I love that. I love that. All right. Well, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you will win. If you qualify with the first level of Bond LP, $250 worth of USD in ARC, which is our high yield savings account that you can. Deposit, take your funds out whenever you like, and it's paying out about 100% APR, which is quite fantastic. Callus, you wanted to say something? Callus, you wanted to say something? Oh, I was just going to ask Brad and Chris what their side what their side deal was. Um, if they want if to they share. share. Yeah, so uh, me and Chris have, have both been fortunate enough to win um, the Spark Reward Pool now, so... Uh, Chris offered terms of uh, 
if either of us win it again, or sorry, not if, when the next one of us wins it again, we will donate 25 arc of the winnings to um, to the other person, but not to them. It's to their community. So, you know, if Chris wins it again, um, he'll donate 25 arc and I'll there drop that to my my team and vice versa. And if anybody else wants in on that, then, you know, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Is Coach here with us? She usually shows up about 10 minutes early. So, Mr. Z, let's go ahead and do the D5 session. Getting a really bad echo from your brother. Uh, if you give me your mic uh, for a second. Thank you. So let's, we've got uh, 12 minutes for D5 sessions until Coach Roberto comes. And we're all going to do this amazing, calming breath. The same breath that the Navy SEALs do before they go into battle. So that they can stay calm, cool, collected, connected, and focused. So the mission is accomplished. As traders, we deal with a lot of stress. Especially in the bear market. So it's going to take a little time, take a deep breath, relax, connect, and understand that there's nothing more important than the way you feel. You got to feel good. You got to breathe and relax. So Mr. Z, it's all yours. Thank you, Atlas. Um, could I share my screen? It's possible. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Good day, everybody. It's a good Monday. It's a good Monday. It's the first week of 2023. And it's been great at, at, at basically ARC. It's been great in DeFi today, in fact. So we've had some great good price sort of updates. Um, if you guys can sort of see my screen, I'm kind of sharing uh, our Discord. And uh, this morning we hit our 440th member. I want to take this to 1,000. And I need you guys to help me with it. Uh, in the meantime, we will be going through uh, many updates here. So so our ARC price is, is showing up now. We actually put two price trackers. So you can put Bitcoin price. You can see Bitcoin price here and ARC price. The whole point of uh, having the Discord is to have you guys have a one-stop shop for everything. I mean, here, uh, whilst you wait for the Telegram podcast, you, you can come here and, and you can see all the updates here. You can see all the... Twitter announcements here. You can see the. You can listen to your uh, to our Telegram podcast here. You can look at upcoming AMAs and and, and I can't uh, tell you enough to, to bring your teams here. Um, we're going to make a syndicate uh, subcategory very very soon, so you guys can train your your folks. But in the meantime, the general chat's been pretty active. I'm loving the I love Arc and and, and the and the boosters everyone's given me, uh, given to the server and given to the community. So it's been beautiful. Um, I wasn't able to announce the the, the winner uh, yesterday uh, for the Discord prize. We did a, a little Discord prize of $100. And uh, if uh, Florida Realtor, you're here, uh, God bless you. Um, you're awesome to the community. So it was, it was great to see you uh, win the giveaway. Uh, so thanks for everybody giving the boost. Awesome. Yeah, no, Realtor deserves it. Realtor is the real community member. Uh, really, really, um, you know, interactive with everything, and and he deserves uh, the hundred dollar reward. Um, so, so keep keep tabs on that. Uh, realize, guys, you can also still get your uh, your your crypto news all here. We have the best uh, sort of crypto Twitter uh, uh, bot here that gives you the best of the best. We we follow CZ Hoskinson, Vitalik Buterin, Gavin Woods, Polkadot, Ethereum. We follow all the best ones. We actually uh, make sure that we don't follow everybody because you guys want to get the best of the best. So people like D uh, Dynamo DeFi is, is someone that explains to you how to run up st statistics on Ether Etherscan. And these are things you can kind of learn from our crypto Twitter. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's a crypto Twitter. Crypto news is more general. Then we have crypto YouTube that we're kind of working on. Um, and then in the final category here where we're going to start is uh, DeFi links. As you know, today, uh, I'm sure a lot of you woken up to a, a good price action on, on Bitcoin, on Ethereum, on your Cardano, on your Solana. 
and and then there's some there's some good reason behind it. So I think we're going to go through a report now that it kind of explains to us uh, of the of the many outcomes. I mean, this week uh, we have on 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 the on the, on the uh, fundamental side we have a an important um, you can say news uh, stand which is called uh, CPI. So CPI stands for Core Price Index. And and CPI is really important to, to explain to you how uh, inflation sort of endeavors in DeFi and in, in all the tech markets and stuff. So CPI is a, is, is a big, big news. And, and, and as we're coming towards it on Thursday, the 12th of January, we're seeing uh, some bullish events. We're seeing, we, we saw some a, a good bullish run on Bitcoin, on your Ethereum. So it's been pretty good. It's been it's been stable. Uh, but nothing as stable as ARK. We don't look at price action here. So, uh, so, so that's why I do the DeFi news, to, to show you that there is a bunch of fluctuation. People bought the top here at 13, four, uh, 1340, and they're down at 1320. So it's, it's shorted. Which shows you that we haven't got the stability that the bull run we want, but it's pretty promising to see uh, price go from 1273 to, to 1321. So... So yeah, so, so that's the price action on DeFi right now, and 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 there's some articles talking about uh, about why I mean what the CPI can do for for these things. So, so for Bitcoin, um, we have been stuck between fifteen point seven k to seventeen thousand, and 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 I think the bulls want an eighty thousand dollar Bitcoin. So let's see if we get that by the end of the week. Uh, I believe technically that that we sort of dipped from there. And we're going to stay in a in, in a sideways movement, and uh, so so we're still in a in a bearish market. I think we're in a mild bearish market right now, and we're going to stay here till uh, this Shanghai hard fork for Ethereum, and and also the CPI news that's going to come out. And there's still a non form payroll to come out. There's there's a few updates that are about to happen. That's going to really uh, tell us a little bit about how the retail indexes is, is following with the current interest rates and inflation in the world. So like Solana as well. Uh, we've seen has uh, has seen some pumps. Has seen some pumps, mostly uh, due to uh, due to its uh, d- due to no crashes happening. That's a big thing that happened in Solana the, the last couple of months. We've not seen uh, a crash happen on any launch, so it's been stable there. So fourteen to fifteen dollars there. Monero's at one hundred fifty four to one hundred sixty dollars with price range, and 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 so is Lido. Lido is something we did a rabbit hole on. Uh, to to show um, and and Lido has really picked up since uh, since the hard fork, since the Berlin hard fork happened, folks wanted to stake their Ethereum's, but they realized that on Beacon Chain you can only stake up to thirty five Ethereum's. So Lido since then is a DAO that's been made by many VCs. It's been a, a collective sort of thing, and it's been holding quite a good price. And, and not just that. Go on. Does, does someone want to say something? Yes. I don't know if it's you or if it's me, um, but I'm getting uh, some uh, strange noise, like a connection issue as far as like, um, is anybody else hearing that or is it just on my side? Who's he speaking? Like a crackle, crackle. Uh, it's been quite clear my end when he's speaking, um, to be honest, maybe it's your end. Yeah, at yeah I'll be right back guys, because when you spoke now, I also heard it. Uh, Let's see something again. Right. Uh, I, I'm not hearing anything. My end sees clear. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> Please continue, Z. No worries, no worries. I will continue. Um, so, so yeah, so, so Lido uh, is a ecosystem that you guys should keep an eye on because this has been catching. So, so what's happened is with, with Beacon Chain only allowing 35 Ethereum's. Uh, to, to be staked to like to participate, Lido in fact allows you to stake your Ethereum and take it out at any given time. So Lido's been getting a lot of a, a, a lot of good vibes uh, in the uh, sort of value locked community. So like DeFi Llama, uh, th- this weekend we saw Maker DAO kind of take the number one spot as most stake, but Lido came back with total value locked at six point five four billion. So do keep an eye out on this. And 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 Lido's price has been pretty consistent as well, um, which is which is pretty bullish. So we're gonna see. Uh, hopefully, Lido goes from a dollar sixty 
and we and we hope to, it goes back to like the three dollar phase, and hopefully we get that by uh, by February March time. So Lido is a good a, a good good a good dip to look into, and also with Ave Ave has been pretty uh, pretty good as well. Whilst everyone's uh, you know going through a sell off uh, in crypto, uh, uh, protocols like Ave and Lido are offering folks to to park their Ethereum and their DeFi. And 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 fortunately, things like Ave and Lido have been doing pretty well. So I uh, so Ave is also looking at the sort of you can say fifty nine to seventy dollar region, and we wanted to return back to the eighty dollar sort of region, and, and we should see that by the next few months. So that's Ave there. So so these are you can say the uh, the the main tokens, the main sort of layer ones that we invest in, and thus far it's looking bullish. It's looking pretty good. Um, there's a few things that are helping uh, price action right now. Like one thing that's helping us is the uh, is the CPI index that came out last last week, uh, which showed uh, a good place where 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 inflation is easing down. We saw a consistent price in in, in, in wages and in the jobs report and in, in the job wages. So so that is basically giving some confidence to to folks to to take a bit of risk. I think what happens is we we go through these these moments where when inflation goes up, when interest rates go up, we see price action really fall because the dollar gets uh, gets stronger, and it, and it costs more to to make your transactions, to buy uh, retail, to to do the things. So so now we're seeing an ease of of, of you can say the job uh, uh, sort of like uh, structures, and and that's really helping uh, the tech companies. It's helping DeFi. It's helping Bitcoin, Ethereum. And uh, so, so, so that's the positive news that like inflation is starting to cool down, uh, and that's why we see the the price actions that we do. Now, the last thing I want to cover is adoption. I think adoption is a is a really important thing, and and currently, like what saddens me a little bit is is we were expecting uh, the Mexican digital peso to come out uh, uh, for next year, twenty twenty four to twenty twenty five. You're going to hear about countries like Brazil. Uh, um, you can say um, El Salvador has already adapted to Bitcoin, but there's a bunch of different countries in, in, in Africa, in, in, in Asia, that are looking to to, to, to iterate their their CBDC to, to put that to test net and have folks uh, test it out. So so there's been a, a small delay on the on the Mexican front. The digital peso is going to be delayed by another year. They believe it will be 2025 to 2025 uh, to 2026. And we can see that, uh, that, that, like Mexico has been really bullish with Bitcoin. I mean, they, they've had, uh, Bitcoin ATMs installed all over the country and, and especially the Senate building, which is pretty cool. So the Senate building has, uh, and, and, and Mexico goes to the, goes to the, one of the largest, like, re recipients of remittance in the world. So, uh, with, with such high transaction rate, um, we want to see, ATMs. We want to see more. Uh, you can say adoption here. So CBDCs, I believe, and 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 having more ATMs installed and having more banking facilities will bring it. So this delay kind of kind of you know is, is bad. But hopefully we get some more updates. And you never know, miracles happen. <laughs> and then we see Mexico uh, back the digital peso very very soon. So so that's the news on on the on the Mexico front. And then um, some good news happened on the. Uh, on, on, on the Kazakhstan. So the Kazakhstan is a is an oil rich country. It's a it's a country that goes through a bunch of uh, transactions through 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 the USSR region, through uh, Eurasia, and 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 they have given a date. They given a date between 2023 and 2025. Nothing specific, but they are looking to make it uh, happen. They're looking to to bring out their CBDC. And and have uh, by 2023 they say, and then they should go into a more commercial operation of it by 2025. Um, so so yeah, Kazakhstan also has one of the biggest Bitcoin mining uh, sort of faculties in the world uh, because of its weather, because it can because it can hold a cool on effect. So Kazakhstan, the world's largest uh, third largest Bitcoin mining hub after the United States and China, found feasibility in launching its in-house central banking digital currency. So, so yeah, so, so we're seeing, and it's going to be called the, the digital tench, and the National Bank of Kazakhstan and BK will be launching it. 
and and yeah so, so 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 they are looking to not just like facilitate it just to be for banks and customers b2c they're looking to facilitate it on other crypto exchanges which is pretty cool so so binance is taking an interest the way kazakhstan is are, are, are doing things but yeah in, in in sort of that side of the world um eurasia kazakhstan is making uh, the most progress when it comes to uh, uh crypto and, and 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 you can say adoption of, of, of blockchain technology so that's the news on Kazakhstan. So yeah, that sort of covers the news for me for today. Um, and and soon uh, on the next round, we're, we'll do a, a a rabbit hole. I'll take requests if you guys have any anything that you guys want me to look into in DeFi that has like layer one utility. Realize, guys, I cannot do um, um, a sort of rabbit holes on on, on memes and. And projects that have short-term, you know, roadmaps, I, uh, and and that, that are FOMO type projects, I, I can only do, uh, I can only take, uh, you can say, rabbit holes on on on, on things with that, that have utility. So, so hopefully, in the next one, we'll go through uh, the city of Atlantis, and we'll talk a little bit about Mastercard's uh, adoption. I want to go further into that, but but that covers my my DeFi sessions for today, guys. Like, keep getting your folks to join our Discord. I can't tell you how important it is that that you folks, you know, bring your teams here. And, and and be able to engage her because because I want it to be a place where where you can open multiple voice channels to to train your folks here. It, it can be a place where folks can find their FAQ uh, things. They they can ask staff questions. And that you can open a ticket of any kind if you have any technical help, a technical uh, you know if you need any technical support, you can open a ticket here and and, and have anybody from the from the mods to admins actually uh, you know answer your tickets and and stuff. So so. And, and, and also for, for your folks to get like further information on how the ARC ecosystem works, how our bonds are staking, how our legacy NFTs get remittance and, and how the ARC vault and the stuff works. So you can get all the information in one place instead of having multiple tabs and browsers, uh, you'll be able to do that here. And what I hear from the Discord community is soon they're going to enable MetaMask integration. So when MetaMask integration comes to Discord, maybe you can... Uh, stake your bonds and 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 your arc straight. You can compound them straight from 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 Discord. So we look forward to that. But yeah, do do join up. We want to get to a thousand folks and then really take it far. Um, I'd like to say one last thank you to the folks that that helped us boost. Um, I know you guys all did it from the heart, and we did reach level three, which is the highest caliber of of Discord. And we'll look to do much more with it. We'll, we'll look to make custom uh, emojis. We'll look to make uh, more, more. Uh, you can say, we, we'll have more poker games. We'll have much more bandwidth to do much more. So I look forward to that. Uh, and, and I'd like to see your memes. I want to, I think uh, Togo Sanka like put a, a really great meme the other day. And it shows uh, a fishing leave one fishing pond in, from other DeFi projects to ARC. And that's happening. It's really happening in real time. Um, so yeah, t today, the other thing is, uh, we had our, you know, our, our, today's our 70th podcast and to see it be the highest, uh, sort of on the spark rewards was pretty nice. So whoever won that, if you're here, uh, uh congratulations to, to you and your team. And, and that's all the updates I have for today. Thank you guys. And um, as we wait for, for Atlas to join back, if Atlas is here, unmute your mic. But I think uh, uh, Coach Roberto is here. I'm looking for some more box breathing techniques, some good vibes. How are you doing, Coach? I'm, I'm doing good. That, you're, you're great, man, <laughs> explaining all yeah. that stuff. Easy and clear. Um. Yeah, so today I want to cover a, a third technique. I don't, I don't know if everybody's been on the call. We, we've gone, we're going to go over 21 different techniques, like a, every Monday. I'll, I'll cover one. And um, and somebody put out the, the box breathing, uh, which is what the Navy SEALs use for, for their, when they go out in, in their challenges that they, they go out and, and do the whatever they're gonna do, and, and they use the box breathing to get clear, to get focused, to connect to their intentions, 
And we'll be covering the box breathing. I think it might be like two or three weeks. We'll cover the box breathing. But um, today I, I want to cover what what I call the charging charging the heart. Um, it's and it's the beginning of a, a practice of spiritual breathing. So, and and notice what the word spirit that. What what it means in Latin? It is spiritus. It's a it's a principle of life. The forms of root of the words of respiration, inspiration, expiration. This is the same in many other languages. So this is not coincident or an accident. When you breathe, you take you not only taking in air, you're also taking in energy. You're taking in chi, ki, prana, life force, spirit. They're all different names. So just notice when when you're breathing that you're bringing that life energy into your heart, into your body, into your mind. But today we're going to bring it into our hearts because every breath offers an opportunity to have a cellular experience of the divine energy. It's kind of like a, a biological experience of God, of the universe, whatever you want to call it. So breathing, you can consciously embody a higher self. <clears throat> so, so that's what we're going to cover today, and and then it's basically doing a silent relief. So we're breathing it through the nose, and we're taking the inhale deep and slow. Don't rush it, and then practice. And then at the exhale, you're going to let it go real slow. So you're going to inhale slow and deep, lengthening the inhale. So you. You take a deep breath through the inhale. So let's do it now through the nose. See if you can open and expand beyond the physical limits of the air in your body. Just bring it in really deep. And when you pull it in, try to bring it into the center of your chest. You know, breathing through your heart chakra. And then when you're there, if you put your hands in your ribs, Notice you breathe. Try to have your 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 ribs to breathe out when you take it in. So you inhale deep, and then you hold it, and then you let it go, and and let that breath, the exhale, just continuously go out, nice and slow. So when you inhale, notice what muscles you use, especially as you approach the feeling of fullness. See if you can gently pull past what feels full. And just be conscious that there's an energy to effort ratio. So the idea is to be able to use the energy, but not a lot of effort. You know, we waste too much energy. We put too much effort into breathing. So let's breathe deeply, but don't use any muscles. Don't have, you don't have to. Notice your jaw, your neck, your shoulders while you're inhaling. Keep them relaxed. Don't struggle, don't work, don't force. There's a dance that, you can, that takes place while you're breathing, the dance of life. Not only can you breathe the breath, the breath can breathe you. So as you open and relax, the breath can pour into you. And, and as the breath pours into you, you can open it and relax. So, so let's do it a few times, right? And I'll, I'll just, I'll drive it. So and when I say open and expand, it's like opening up your chest, opening up your heart, open up your ribs and just bring it in. So let's all inhale together, open and expand. When you get to the top and when you get full, let it go and relax. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. So here we go. Inhale, open and expand, exhale, relax and let it go. Let, let that exhale drop into your belly. So inhale, open and expand into your heart chakra. Exhale, relax and let it go. Let's try to do that like, like 15, 20 times. So here we go. Inhale. 
Open and expand. Exhale, relax, and let it go. When you get to the bottom, bring it in again. Inhale. Take it in deep, as deep as you can. Get full, relax your body, relax your mind, let it go. Just keep doing it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Open and expand. Notice how you're feeling. Notice that energy, that prana coming into your body. Expand it, let it release. Inhale. Open and expand. Relax and let it go. Now keep it going almost like in a circular way. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going. There's no pause now. Bring it into your heart. Open and expand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it up. Keep it up in your own pace. Notice how you're feeling. Just get it going. Stay with it. Inhale. Open and expand. Inhale. Open and expand. Inhale. Relax and let it go. Inhale. Open and expand. Exhale. Relax and let it go. Keep it going. Inhale, open and expand. Exhale, relax and let it go. <sighs> Inhale, open and expand. Exhale and let it go. <sighs> so now let's take a deep breath and we're going to hold it up in the inhale. Inhale, open and expand and pause. Just hold it, relax. Notice how you're feeling. Notice your thoughts. Be aware of your thoughts. But connect to your heart. Remember, we're charging your heart. See how long you can hold it. And if you have to release, release and take another deep breath and, and stay with the breath. But if you can hold it, just stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Relax. Notice how you're feeling. And when the body wants to breathe, see if you can hold it up for a few more seconds and then let it go. Notice the sensations, the feelings. If you let it go, just release it. And then just follow the breath. Notice how you're feeling. And breathe the way the breath wants you to breathe. Perhaps you want to go back to the charge in your heart. So you inhale again. Open and expand. Open up that heart. Relax and let it go. Inhale. Open and expand. Relax and let it go. Now you bring it in, bring in some intentions. Inhale, connect to love, open and expand, release it, let love out. Inhale, bring in light, exhale, let the light release. Inhale, bring in happiness, exhale, happiness. Inhale, bring in abundance, open and expand, relax and let it go. Inhale, bring in harmony. Exhale, let it all out into the universe. And just keep breathing that way. In a circular way, stay with it.
Now we're going to inhale, take it in deep, then let it go. And, and then after the exhale, you're going to hold after the exhale. So here we go. Inhale. Let it go. And then pause. Just observe how you're feeling, observe your thoughts, observe your body, keep relaxing, don't tighten up, feel the energy, feel your heart. Just be grateful. Just be grateful for the amazing ability to breathe. Just know that you can bring that sacred intention in this process, charging your heart, if that's your choice. Any time, any point of the day. If you're still pausing, you can stay with it as long as you can. And then you let it go and release when you have to. Don't force it. Ready, let it all go. Just come back to a normal breath. Just observe how you're feeling. Be in the silence, be in your heart. Just be grateful for being part of this community, being part of this game. Just know that the way you breathe is the way you live. So I do ceremonies where we do this for an hour and and we bring in intentions and uh, so that was just a little just a little bit of that ceremony it's just just a little bit <laughs> if anybody anybody, have anybody to share any questions And that was a reset button right there. Coach <laughs> <laughs> Brad, uh, how was it for you, sir? Did Rosie participate tonight? tonight? No, she didn't. Unfortunately, she's uh, back at work, so she is. Um, she's in bed already. <laughs> she's an early. She goes to bed quite early. She's in bed by about ten o'clock each night. But um, yeah, that was a that was a different one for me. Um, feel very relaxed, charged, ready to to, to get the uh, the next part of the podcast once we finish here going. That was a you know really good reset for me as well. I enjoyed that one. It wasn't too difficult um, mm -hmm. in the sense of uh, you know like the last one we did. I actually I struggled with with the holding of the breath and stuff, but that was a, a more comfortable one for me. I enjoyed that. Great. Yeah, if, if you notice, that, that's almost like a side of relief for bringing in different intentions. And then you can use that uh, 
that you know in and out the mouth like inhale open expand always and then the exhale is relaxing and letting it go and, and you notice that as we go along how that integrates into into the breath all the time z did you get to do it as well <laughs> Yeah, I got some shaman energy going with the with, with the breathing, you know. You can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel? I've, dude, like, uh, I think it was the seventh bread coach made me do, and, and it hallucinated me. I, I realized how uh, how caught up I was in my ribs. So my rib cages, that, that last breath uh, took me away, and then I felt, like, real real positivity, real joys, and good sound. Um Coach, if you don't mind, can I share a small story with you? Um, sure. On the box week. Um, so I was in hospital uh, last week, and 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 I was, you know, I was, I was there for my father's appointment, uh, as I, as I was, and there was a lady uh, who was uh, who was pregnant, who was expecting for the next few hours, sitting next to me, really stressed out, uh, and just out of breath sweating and 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 all i did was i locked eye contact with her and i said why don't you try to hold your breath for four seconds and she goes are you crazy you know she was because because i need the nurse i need the, i'm like i'm like they're coming on their way just just hold that breath for four seconds and then release and 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 she held it for four seconds she says can you count for me so i counted uh on the fourth and i'm like let go now she's like can you do can you do this with me for the next 10 times that became her her box breathing coach for like a good, uh, <laughs> 20 minutes and it worked it calmed her nerves isn't that cool wow oh shit did, did i lose you no no no. i'm here i'm here oh, okay okay no i thought i uh, that that's awesome that you can help somebody like that yeah well you use the breast coach after you got your bionic uh, plat what, what, no, titanium knees. <laughs> you were in so much pain <laughs> in the hospital when you woke up after the surgery, right? And you were, yeah. you, you created your own morphine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was in the hospital, I, every nurse I, that came in, I, I go, Do you guys know anything about breath work? <laughs> <laughs> Did, did I, have I told the story when I, when I went to the operation room? No, I tell us. No, you can go, I, I know it, but you can go right ahead. So, um, two years ago, I, I had both my knees replaced. And uh, when I when I came back to to life, like when I woke up from my operation, no, before that, 50 years ago, I had both my knees uh, operated on because I used to play football, American football, and I had both my knees. And when I used to wake up back then, it was all pain, and I would just start screaming for morphine and start throwing lamps and stuff if they won't give me morphine because I was in so much pain. Then then fast forward 50 years, you know, two years ago, uh, you know the technology is a lot better. So, I when I woke up, what happened was that all of a sudden I went, <gasps> and I got right into my twenty breath technique in a circular way, like really deep and full. And I was breathing away, and all the nurses and all the doctors started running around. They didn't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Look. At- Luckily, my friend was there, and he goes, "No, no, no, no." He he teaches breath work, and that's the twenty breath technique. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so, and and they had me get up, and I started walking. You know, like I had mm-hmm. no pain. I, you know, like I, I walked out of the the hospital the next day. You know, with a, you know a walker, but it, it was unbelievable. But but wow. what that taught me was that if you practice enough, the breath, whatever breath, you're actually changing your habits. Because right now, the retaliant part of the brain is holding 
whatever trauma you you created for yourself in the past so you have these mm -hmm. habits that might not be good the way you're breathing so your breath your breath is actually breathing you incorrectly so if you want to shift it you need to shift those habits and and i did the 20 breath techniques so many times that when i became conscious my body automatically went into the 20 breath technique and and that's wow. when i realized it that's what i realized oh wow that's what they're talking about how you 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 know you shift how your body will react in whatever situation so so that's the importance of being able to practice breath techniques you know depending on what your traumas have been or whatever way you're breathing that might not be correct uh, so so anyway so that's that's the story thank you coach thank you another awesome. banger on the arc breathing sessions i hope you had a great <laughs> week coach i hope you're enjoying playing the game now um as of last notice, you have the first level of direct referrals and are playing every single day for the Spark Rewards. We look forward to when it's your, your turn to win. Just make sure when you log into the homepage of the D app, if you see your wallet there in green, you know that one, come on over, celebrate with us. And again, thank you uh, for always being here always be a person of integrity uh, it's always been a pleasure working with you sir thank you just got some stuff to add um regarding the, the breathing um sessions so um coach has provided me with some uh, information that he um he updates with me each week um the, the information wasn't available in the first two week um the first two breathing sessions so i'm going to post uh, all three now and pin them, uh, I thought better to, to wait until Monday to do it rather than just randomly post them in the week. But they're uh, a detailed explanation of the uh, exercise that we do. And then it gives you uh, it gives you an overview of the exercise and then it actually explains how to do the exercise. So for anybody that misses, um, you know, the, the, the podcast or anybody that's here and wants to learn more about it, there'll be um, pinned messages so that you can review it, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can review it and uh, just get a better understanding and then practice in the future. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put, post that information now. Thank you, Thanks, Coach Brad. Brad. Let's actually take a quick look at it. We have a big, big, big announcement to make tonight, guys. All right. Let's see here. Great sessions. Breath awareness overview. Exercise. Conscious breathing. Brett, uh, Brad, do we have a PDF also? I think we're working on a PDF this week. Uh, that the information that is posted there is uh, I've taken the information from that and presented it in the uh, arc style posts. It'd be great if we could just do a separate PDF with our graphics, if you don't mind, so that uh, we could just post it and folks want to have it on their phone and they want to say just read it and not have to be in Telegram. That'd be great. Could also throw yeah, that into the Discord. Thank you, no sir. problem. So, who's ready for some huge news tonight? Let's tonight. go. <laughs> that way. Let's go. Which way? That way. Well, guys, as you know, the team is expanding here at ARC, and we are recruiting the best of the best. 
you know, we already have top talent that's uh, working here to, to create our it's been a 10 month process that we've picked up amazing folks along the way. Crypto Yon, we have Alex doing our front end, Gordy Design, we have also Mr. Green, our Solidity developer, Red, of course, and myself. Uh, we have Fortunate as admin, and also Coach Brad, and, and we have an amazing addition to the team, a gentleman that his, re his reputation you know, precedes him. Great friend of SK Crypto K, uh, involved in the, the whole process here of, of DeFi, ROI, DApps, the refinery. He's earned the respect on the crypto streets. And today, he's joining the R family. And that person is Mr. Crypto Love. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Oh. Hello, everyone. Um, just, I just want to say thank you for offering me this opportunity to uh, be at uh, this amazing project. I really appreciate, sir, um, your time and uh, for uh, giving me this chance. I'm really happy to accept this position as we move forward. I would like to uh, say thank you to everyone in the team. More power to Ark. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to the family, brother. Let's get this crypto. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get, get this crypto. crypto. Oh, God damn. Oh, yeah. Let's get this crypto. <laughs> that never that never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. So, uh, yeah, man. Welcome on board. He's going to be Manning the comms here in the BC from 7 a.m. UTC to uh, 12 p.m. when Brad comes and takes over. Uh, he'll have the VC open. He'll be answering. He'll also be doing graphics and a lot of clerical work here for the team. Uh, so I think we could have found a better person to come on board and, and bring his crypto knowledge, education, and just positive energy that this young man has. He's so humble respectful, empathetic, and I think it's going to just bring the level of customer service to our community to, to a whole other level. It's going to raise really the bar. So uh, you've earned it, man, and we are honored to have you here aboard the Arts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. I can't wait to start. I hope uh, I, I just want to say thank you again for the team, for uh Accepting me in this amazing opportunity to be part of this amazing project. Thank you so much. All right, right, thank you. Congratulations, Crypto Love. Welcome to the team. You deserve it, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, is Tarno still here? Are, are we uh, going to do the uh, all aboard session? All aboard. Yeah, Tarmo is still with us. Um, if you want to go ahead and share your screen, Tarmo, and show us the great work you've been doing, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Tarmo. Okay, very good. I try to share my screen. Can you see my screen? We certainly can. Go ahead, sir. Okay, there have been many questions about uh, in, in the Telegram uh, groups, how to compound, which pattern to use, and the other kind of questions are, uh, is it uh, what to do with rewards? Is it uh, meaningful to redeposit uh, these rewards or, or what to do? So I tried to uh, address these uh, two questions on my two first figures. 
Okay, they are very preliminary here. So there is no, no landing page, nothing. Uh, and, uh, and, but I can show you some preliminary data. Just, uh, I take the first figure. Oh. Sorry, I must uh, go to other. Yeah. Do you still see my screen? And um, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm, uh, so uh, here is um, what you can see is. Uh, is uh, displayed uh, four lines, but uh, what are uh, for first glance they are exactly the same. There are used uh, four different patterns. The well, first one is is um, allocating uh, every day uh, 78 percent. The second one is uh, compounding with uh, with a pattern uh, ten days compounding, four days white drawing, and the third one is uh, uh, every Saturday, Sunday white drawing other days compounding. And the last one is uh, a pattern, which is from uh, Kelly's uh, excellent uh, table, uh, compounding and white drawing here. So what you can see is uh, all the lines are basically the same. The, the very small difference is only uh, achieving this uh, maximum here. So you, you will see that uh, there are very, very small difference when you achieve the maximum. Uh, there are only seven, seven days difference, regardless what, which pattern you use. Uh, all we know that the pattern, the compounding 100% and uh, one day and uh, white drawing 100% uh, other days is very difficult to achieve in, in practice. Uh, practically, it is impossible. It's only theoretical. Mm. So what is seen from this picture is that you can relaxly use this uh, pattern to allocate every day Uh, this uh, certain percentage, which is allowed by you holding your NFT uh, or, 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 or not. So it's, uh, it's basically no difference which pattern you use, you achieve the result in practically the same time. So it, uh, wh what you can see from this picture. Very good, uh, Tarno. And do you like this way more than, than breaking it up into days and into just doing the percentages constantly and staying at that, that perfect balance? Personally, yes. which, which way do you like better? Yes. You can be honest. It's, uh, like it. Yes. Yes, of course. The, the uh, blue one allocating every day the same person is is a very very good tactic because uh, it's uh, it's uh, simple to use so i personally prefer the the blue one this it uh, about, i think it also helps people See if, if you're busy in your life and you're not paying too much attention. 
if you forget what you did yesterday or three days or five days before, I mean, I don't know what I had for, for lunch on Saturday. And if I'm going to sit in my investment here at ARC and, and, and then struggle, okay, go to the blockchain, it's so much, I think, more convenient and intuitive to just set it and keep it always at that same rate so you don't have to question yourself. You don't have to worry what actions you did before and take it into consideration that the 14-day rolling average is extremely vital and important. <coughs> yeah. So so you don't veer off into, into, into the wrong direction, as you say. Yes, it's exactly what uh, what is uh, what is seen from this uh, figure. It's it's exactly it's no no rush, no no stress. Just uh, keep this uh, ratio and uh, and uh, and use this. So so this is best. Amazing. Yeah, I think that's Brett, fantastic. Any, any opinions, questions? No, I think he's covered it. It's excellent. Um, you know, as you mentioned, using the percentages, we're kind of pushing that mantra now versus the days, just because people are having an issue uh, understanding the CWR and how it really interacts with their actions and what they're doing every day. So, yeah, if we can convert those into percentages and you know keep that steady, then we won't see the. I think the the questions that people have coming in about CWR. It'll just remain fixed, and after they cover a full 14-day period, you know, using that same percentage allocation for compound and withdraw in a in, in a single action, uh, really smooth out. I think a lot of people's, um, you know, their CWR for sure, but then also just their understanding, and and they can remain a lot more calm about it. Um, some people are still chasing a target CWR, and what they're finding is um, in order to you know, kind of hit that target, they're, they're doing a lot of different actions, sometimes in a single day, uh, which can then, you know, down the road, two weeks down the road, um, cause some confusion. So, yeah, I appreciate that, Tarmo, and uh, uh, excellent um, analysis. Thank you. Yes, and uh, the second one is... Uh, Thank you. And the second one is a deposit Sorry. impact uh, analysis. So uh, here, what you see is uh, the blue line is when you make no deposits. The black line here is when you deposit uh, 100 of ARC uh, monthly. And uh, the green line is uh, when you redeposit uh, all your all your rewards every day. Uh, the CVWR 2.5 is used here also, and uh, and starting uh, from 100, approximately 100 of arcs. So what you can see from this picture is uh, when you redeposit, uh, I, I switch uh, off this. Uh, this uh, monthly deposit but what you can see from these uh, two figures uh, you can see that uh, if you redeposit all rewards you prolong uh, the period of earnings two percent uh, something like uh, three months and uh, you also will be at maximum something in one and a half years. So in, in June 2024, uh, if you do not deposit uh, your rewards, just uh, take it off, then uh, you reach the maximum somewhere in the, uh, in the March or April 2025, so 10, 10 months uh, later. And uh, yeah, and it's possible to zoom in to look the difference. The difference is amazing because, uh, for example, 
in the May, in the April this year, 345 versus 621. So this is possible to do. That is fantastic. That is a significant difference, Tamo. That is a great piece of um, kit you've made there. Really impressive. The redeposit strategy is one that many of the investors are are taking for you know for the reasons you've just shown there. Very impressive. Yeah, that's basically all at this moment. Uh, I I try to keep working on with some other other stuff. I have a question, Tardo. Yeah. Have you have you done a model that, let's say, an investor would come in and they want to get their return on investment? Uh, they are not going to uh, reinvest for that time being, but after they get the return on investment, they want to start putting everything back inside, right? Do you, yeah. you know, I wonder how long would it take somebody, um, you know, let's say dropping to that 1% and then getting back up to the 2%. Is it even possible through uh, just, just pretty much uh, reinvesting all the returns? Have you, have you played with that at all? Uh, yes, it's possible. I think it's not uh, difficult. Uh, so I, I can try. Not, not yet. Okay. I'd be, I'd be curious to see that. You know, because we, mm -hmm. we do preach, and it is important, I think, to, to the whole team. We want to see everybody win, and getting your return on investment in a project is a win. Everything else is, is free money, right? Uh, and I think that's something that I've seen in so many projects where, where people want to squeeze everything out, and then they, they, they put themselves into a situation of much bigger growth, of course. There's no doubt about it. But there's something to be said about getting that return on investment. So it'd be interesting to see, and you know, if we could have you back one day, I'd, I'd like to also show that strategy for the investors, because you know, understanding this is a multi-year strategy, a multi-year project. The growth is is really, you know, compounding through time, and it can be really, really massive. Uh, I also want to show folks that if they do the strategy of getting the return on investment they are still in a fantastic position for, for growth it's just a bit slower so seeing that visually the way you do it would I think be quite amazing so thank you sir yes that's clear thank you thank you all right <laughs> thank you round of applause applause Can it happen? And Tom, of the line that you sorry, Atlas, go ahead. No, I was just going to see if anybody had a question. Uh, Tom, of the line that you uh, have taken off of the display, that's redepositing a hundred arc um, monthly, yeah. not a hundred dollars of arc. Is that correct? Uh, yes, it's a uh, hundred arc. Yes, and and. Uh... After taxes, they take, uh, take off. The, so it's uh, mm, uh, netto, netto. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? That's fantastic. All right, folks. I think we're going to go ahead and conclude with tonight's podcast. Uh, we're going to be having after here a training session for our, our new team member and admin, Mr. Crypto Love. So that's going to be quite exciting. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll be closing the, the chat and uh, just keep an eye on things as we go over there and uh, make sure that we get 
our newest member up to speed and, and really ready to sail and uh, be one of the commanding officers of the ship, the Ark. We thank all of you for participating with us this evening. We hope that you found your participation here tonight to be uh, positive. Hopefully uh, you did breath uh, with Coach Roberto and uh, got something good out of that. And congratulations to the Spark winner tonight. All-time high, massive, massive, uh, you know, boost to that investor's Arc Vault account. Congratulations. And uh, for the folks that are just listening, they're not here present today, uh, we thank you for also for participating in the Arc Podcast by listening at a later time. back tomorrow at the same time, 6 p.m. EST, 11 p.m. UTC. Everyone have a wonderful evening. Take care of yourself.